clearly Volcker had an enormous career. He served under six presidents, both Republican and Democrat, and served to really change the way the U.S. handles monetary policy. What will be his most outstanding legacy? Well, I think you are, you're spoilt for choice because he was involved in some of the key landmark uh, events in global economics of the last 50 years, really. If you even go back to 1971 and the US decision to leave the gold standard, which led to the collapse of the Bretton Woods system, which had defined the global financial system after World War II. He was a close advisor uh, to the President Nixon in making that uh, decision when he was at the US Treasury. He then burst onto the scene again as uh, the chairman of the Federal Reserve in the late 70s and early 80s with a complete change in philosophy uh, by the central bank, a much tougher approach to inflation, which uh, led to a nearly 20% official interest rates. Um, hard to believe now, hard to remember, um, at a time when inflation was also in the high double digits, um, but and helped cause a recession, which many people uh, took, uh, will always remember him for. But that he started that tough anti-inflation uh, central bank policy which brought the arguably brought in the 80s and 90s that long period of relatively shallow recessions and modest inflation. You know, the financial crisis, in a sense, marked the end of that period, which he helped very dramatically uh, to produce. Um, and he then was part, as you suggested, part of the sort of cleanup when he was working for President Obama um, with that uh, analysis of some of the things that had led to the crisis, the risk taking, if you like, and that Volcker rule, which was supposed to sort of rein in the speculative activities of internet of investment banks. So, you know, a, a swathe of influence, uh, which continued really until his dying months, I would say. It's a good job we didn't have Twitter when inflation was as, <laughs> yeah. was as high as that. Uh, in some ways, though, his legacy as well is high asset prices. Yes. A and, and in some ways, he has created by that some of the crises we now face. Yeah, and that is one of the things when we talk about and Mervyn King, the former governor of the Bank of England, used to talk about the nice decade. We had this period where macroeconomists were kind of clapping themselves on the back, saying we now have low inflation, we have growth. But that very stability of the system made it possible for people to take more and more risk, take on more and more debt, particularly in the financial sector. And I think he recognised that more than many people and indeed had resisted some of Reagan, President Reagan's efforts to deregulate in the 80s. It was only after he left the Fed that under Clinton and others you had more financial regulation that he was unhappy about and I guess arguably um, some of those fears came true. He had something called uh, the Saturday Night Special, Stephanie. That was how he began to combat inflation. Tell us exactly what the Saturday Night Special was. And I have to say, I sometimes think of that and of him when we have our debates around the uh, how much the Fed is listening to the markets and how worried it might be in the lead up to a meeting um, at spooking the markets because he had exactly the opposite approach. So he came in uh, against the opposition of many of the senior people on the uh, FOMC at that time on the Fed, the Interest Rate Setting Committee, um, and announced in a press conference a few months after he came in that he was going to start targeting the monetary su money supply and basically have a much tougher approach to inflation. This was opposed by many people at the Fed. And it led to times when you were increasing, the Fed was increasing interest rates by perhaps two percentage points at a time without warning the market at all. I mean, the exact opposite of what we would do now with the very careful, we would tend to bl blame the Fed, criticise the Fed if it hadn't uh, ad in advance told the markets exactly, in effect, what it was going to do. He had a very different approach.